it's such a pretty boat. Trip. All right, y'all, today I'm gonna talk to you about a famous ship. No, not that one. This ship has to deal with a love story. I believe that's the heart of no, again, not talking that one. This one has to do with a shipwreck. Iceberg, get ahead, sir. This is a story so this story has to deal with the Annie C. McGuire. She is a she's a merchant ship. She's been sailing for forever. She's a veteran in the sea. She's 30 years, you know, three decades she's been out there hauling from port to port. Port to port. She's just she's great. She's amazing. She's she's big. We like we like big ships, right? So uh, the end of 18. 86 she's on the seas she's uh sailing from argentina coming up to uh to canada and uh one of her stops is at uh, cape elizabeth in maine well she uh she's going along conditions are horrible on the boat at this time she's the cook's not a very good one i call it the nasty patty the seas, it's winter time. They're, they're tossing and turning, uh, financial distress. I mean, just, just all kinds of things are piling up for this ship. Just, just a miserable experience. Um, on board, you got the captain, you got his wife, his son, uh, crewmates, there's about 13, 15 people in total. And so the story goes that as she's going along, weather starts to set in, in the winter time, and she, she decides to just hide out for a little bit. She gets too close to the lighthouse and runs aground, strikes a rock. Uh, she can't move, she's just stuck. It's Christmas Eve, it's about 11 o'clock at night, pitch, back, pitch black conditions. I mean, it's just, just not good. So uh, the, uh, the tenants of the lighthouse, the man gets up, he wakes his son up, he wakes his, uh, his, his wife up, they run outside. A lot of town folk come in and help on this and build a, a makeshift ladder system all the way out to the ship and are able to, to, get, the, uh, to get the personnel off. Everybody's out, just they're, they're okay. A um, little shaken, but they're okay. You know, they, they get off the boat, they're drenched, they're, they're soaking wet, they're cold. You know, they've been at sea, they've been, they've been roughed up. At the time that I'm, that I'm hearing about this story, that I'm researching it and doing, doing a little research on it, I, I come across this Bible verse. And the Bible verse says, you must never let familiarity breed contempt. And, and I was thinking about it, like, like a ship, it's been out there for 30 years, the captain, He's been out there. They they they're not to their destination yet, but they're able to to take um take a breather. They're they're right next to to safety, and and in their in their haste to 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 be safe, they end up running aground. Nobody really knows what the conditions were like at that time. There there's various conditions, but. Even if weather didn't play a part, even if it did, no matter what the situation is weather-wise, they were laxed. Um, also, the family was laxed. I mean, it's, it's 11.30 at night, 11 o'clock at night is pitch black conditions. Uh, on Christmas Eve, right? Like, like, they were laxed. And so I think about that when, when uh, when I'm fighting these battles and I'm fighting these spiritual battles and and I go through a, a, a huge battle, my mind's just raging left and right and it wants, you know, it wants certain things, it's telling me one thing and but I need to do another and you know, my flesh and my spirit, they're just, they're just fighting each other and just inside I feel tossed and turned. 
and then I get through it, I can't become lax in that situation. Once I get through that battle, I, I can't become familiar with uh, being lazy. I still need to press on because once I become lazy, once I let my mind slip a little, that's that's when that secret attack comes that the enemy's been planning all along, and that's usually when I fall. So, you know, just just like it happened in the ship, as soon as you know they they were in open open waters, they ain't had any problems. The only time that the ship had problems in 30 years was that when, when they're in port, like it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, that should be the safest spot. You should you set your anchor down and you, you just, you, you relax. But, you know, it's not what I learned. We just, we need to keep pressing on even, you know, even right after the battles. So, y'all, it's Thanksgiving week. Have a, have a wonderful turkey day. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, eat all kinds of food that you can and... God bless America. We love you. Have a great day.